Hey guys, welcome back to the Creative Shack. My name is Lisa and today we are going to be doing some honey bee decor. So all of these are actually pretty reasonable, pretty cheap to do. Uh, most of these are actually from the Dollar Tree. Um, I feel like honey bee decor is very popular this year. Maybe last year as well too. I don't know. It's so cute. So I decided to do some. So I'm in my kitchen. I'm grabbing that cup of coffee. So let's get started guys. Okay, so I'm going to start out with this wooden disc that I got at Dollar Tree. If you can't find them at Dollar Tree, actually you could get them like a bundle pack at Hobby Lobby for like cheaper than that. So all I'm going to do is just stain this wooden disc first. Then I'm going to take this wooden um, decor piece I found at Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it. So I decided to use a golden mustard color. And I kind of took my time with this and I painted the whole honeycomb with this mustard color. Then after that, I actually decided to paint the bee black and I use a black matte color. Now this only took one coat and the honey bee only took one coat as well. So then after that, I decided to take that honeycomb and kind of paint it with that metallic gold color just to give it a little shimmer i know it really doesn't pick up in the camera a little bit but it makes a big difference i usually get my metallic paints from michael's um they're pretty cheap so i really like them and then i decided to go over some of that metallic paint with the b just so the b can stand out a little bit then after that i actually decided to just glue this right onto the disc i kind of wanted it to be um, a little bit different. I didn't want it to be straight. I want it to be like um, to the side a little bit. So all I did is I just hot glued that right onto there. Then I found this really cute saying on Cricut Design Space. And I thought this was so cute. It was a nice welcome sign. And I just thought it was like definitely perfect. And it says, welcome to our hive, the best place to be. So then after that, I decided to put um, a bow onto this um, wooden disc. It just needed a little something. Oh, you could put greenery, you could put flowers, but I decided I wanted to put a bow. I actually had this bee ribbon. Uh, I got this bee ribbon at Dollar Tree. So some of these ribbons are from Hobby Lobby and some of these ribbons are from um, Dollar Tree. Um, and I thought these were really, really pretty. So all I did was just make a bow, a really simple bow, and I just kind of put them all together and I cut three strips a piece for each ribbon I wanted. And all I did was pinch that together and wrapped a twine around it. And I'm gonna tell you this, this is the easiest bow out there, I would say. Um, I feel like, I mean, I'm not good with bows, but this is the bow I really, really like, and I usually use this bow on my channel a lot. So all I did was kind of go in, trim it up, and I kind of cut it as an angle a little bit, and I just placed that right on top of the wooden disc. And that was about it, guys. This actually turned out really cute. This one was my favorite one today. Okay, so the second DIY, I actually found this wooden square at Joann's or Michael's. It was on clearance for like 99 cents. I've had it for a very long time. So I decided to do a nice stencil off my Cricut machine. This is really easy, guys. Just print it out, um, weed it out, and then just take your transfer tape and put it right onto the actual plank. So after that, I decided to do some acrylic black paint and use a makeup sponge. Take your time with this. You don't need a lot of paint. You're just going to use a little bit of paint and just dab it. And then you're going to wait about, um, I usually wait about two, three minutes. And then after that, I peeled it right off. Now, peeling it off, take your time. Like, don't rush with this because you can ruin your piece. But just take your time, guys, very slowly. And then after that, I had to weed out the excess pieces. And definitely take your time with that. And when you are finished, you have a beautiful piece that can go on a tier tray, a shelf. You can actually sell this because this is so cute and simple. I love this one as well. 
Okay, for this next DIY, I actually picked up a pack of discs at Hobby Lobby for $3.50. It came in a pack of five, so all I did was stain them. I decided to sand them as well. Now, I do stain them with my Waverly Wax, but you can stain them with whatever you want. And then I just went on my Cricut machine, found this image, and I put it right on there, and that was about it for that one. And I'm telling you, Cricut Design Space, you never know what you're going to find. And I de definitely found this one as well, too. I decided to, you know, weed that out. And look how beautiful this is. And I decided to put a little bow on this one just because, just to make it a little bit more. But I kept the other one very plain. And then after that, I decided to use some twine and just to glue that right on there so i can hang it this is so cute and they're really little they're very easy to sell i would say i mean a lot of people like smaller um round things to hang up as well so you guys you can never go wrong with these and these actually turn out really really cute in my opinion Okay, for this next DIY, I actually picked up this frame picture from Dollar Tree. So I just wanted to show you that any picture frame that you see that you really, really like, pick it up. Because you can just flare it up with like a bow or put something on there that to look like it's a little bit more expensive. So that's what I'm trying to show you here. I really like this picture. I'm not doing absolutely nothing with this picture because it's really cute in my opinion and it definitely looks high end to me so all i did was just make a very mini bow and then all i decided to do was i found these like little flowers at hobby lobby for i think they were like a little less than a dollar because they were 50 percent off you get like 40 of these little sunflowers so i decided to like you know um, paint them a little bit to do a little darker yellow and i just put this little bow on there and with these little sunflowers and this actually came out really cute i did change the bow in the middle because i thought it was better that way okay so for this next diy i picked up this fence from dollar tree and this crate from dollar tree so what i decided to do is stain everything first so i stained the crate and i stained the picket fence um, just because I want it to look like a one cohesive piece. I want it to look like you bought it. I want it to look like it actually is connected, that kind of thing. So then after that, after I stained it, I decided to, to sand it really good just to give it more of that texture. And then I decided to actually glue this behind the crate. Just like so. And then all I did was just fill it up with moss, reindeer moss, um, that type of thing, whatever I had on hand. And then I just took some of these like flowers that pretty much was in my stash. I didn't buy anything. I mean, Dollar Tree has really pretty flowers that you can pick up. So basically, I put like some little yellow tails in there as well just to give it that bee look because bee loves flowers. And then I took like this honeysuckle that I actually already had. I painted that yellow. And then these pots, if you can see here, I'm gluing this pot to the corner of that. That's from Dollar Tree. You get like five of them in a pack. And then this little sunflower are beads from Hobby Lobby. You get like, I don't know, like 50 of them or something, maybe 25 to 50. And they were so cheap. They were less than a dollar. Then I'm just trying to show you guys the difference between um, Dollar Tree bees and, and um, Hobby Lobby bees are very small. So, and the Dollar Tree bees are bigger. So I decided to do the bigger ones. And this is it, guys. This was a very easy one as well. Okay, for this DIY, I picked up this house from Dollar Tree and this napkin. My mother gave me this napkin. Um, she said she got it at Dollar Tree, but I can't find them at Dollar Tree. Um, but she must have got them like a long time ago. So anyway, um, all I did was I cut this napkin out to size because I'm going to put that right in there. Now the design that you're seeing in the house, it does come through, which is perfectly fine because it does remind me of, of like a honeycomb, that kind of thing. 
so I'm just cutting it to size and then I decided to mosh posh it right into the house okay before I do that I want to actually paint the outside black that's it and then one good coat of mosh posh now I don't like a really thick coat I like a really thin um, coat on this put that right on there smush it all in there and then put another coat of mosh posh right onto that so after that I decided to do this little mini wooden like coaster disc that you can pick up pretty much anywhere I like to get these ones at Dollar General because they're cheaper because they get like five of them for like two dollars so anyway I put this right in the middle painted it black put happy honeybee day from my Cricut machine and then I took another one of these honey combs that actually you could pick up at um, Hobby Lobby. That's where I found like a whole pack of them for like, I think it was like two something. And all I did was paint that and put that right on top of this house. I thought this one was very cute as well. This one can go definitely on a tear tray. Okay, so this one, Dollar Tree had this and I thought it looked like honey bee comb, that kind of thing. So all I decided to do was sand it and then I wanted to paint this like that golden yellow. So here's the thing, guys. I painted this golden yellow and I hated it, okay? So we have to redo it. So I decided to take some scrapbook pieces of paper that I had from this and um, I kind of like cut it to shape and I'm just going to stick it right into there. And that's what I did with this flower. Um scrapbook piece of paper that I got at Joann's. I got both of these from Joann's. And um, yeah, I really do like doing this better. But before I put the paper in there, I decided to, you know, do the outside with this like golden color. And then I decided to go back in with that shimmered metallic golden paint and kind of shimmer it up a little bit. Cause it, you know what, it looks more expensive. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Get this metallic pink so it looks more expensive. Then on the outside, um, I wanted to paint it like a black because it just it's just going to look better to be honest with you. And then I decided to put the, um, the scrapbook pieces of paper inside the honeycombs. So all I did was put a light coat of Mod Podge and stuck it right in there. And I stuck the the two flower ones in there now here's the thing I didn't really like the bee um, paper so I kind of pulled it off and I actually decided to do all um, of the flower paper and put these cute little bees from Hobby Lobby okay for the last DIY I'm gonna show you this um, ornaments that I got at Hobby Lobby for 90% off in the Christmas aisle. I think they're supposed to be um, pine cones, but I flipped them over. And now I'm going to just stain a little bit um, with my Waverly Wax, just kind of rough staining this. And then I just took some twine, guys, and all I did was wrap that around to make it look like a circle. And I'm telling you, you never know what you're going to find at Hobby Lobby on clearance, really think about it it does not have to be a pine cone you can flip it over to make it look like a honeycomb that's what i thought and then what i decided to do is paint the inside of it black just to represent a honeycomb and i kind of just took my time with this part because you really need to get really in there especially in the grooves and then all i did was just take this honeybee um, ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby for 50% off they still do have this because I stocked up on this and I absolutely love this stuff so all I did was kind of pinch the bottom of it together and put that right in there and then I'm going to show you two different um, bees that I put um, on here I put one with um, Dollar Tree bees and the other one with Hobby Lobby bees. They're the same price to be straight honest with you I'm just trying to show you which one you guys like better I kind of like the little ones from Hobby Lobby and these actually turned out really cute as well I feel like all of these were very cute very cheap really easy to make guys 
um if you guys like this kind of stuff give me that thumbs up and if you didn't subscribe you can always subscribe and i'll see you in our next one bye guys have a great weekend